welcome back to Numeracy. So this week we're going to look at speed and we're going to very speedily run through some speed questions. So if you are working out the speed, you need a distance and you also need a time. We're going to follow the same format as last week where we show the formula, the substitution and then the answer. And I'm going to show you some easy, medium and then quite a challenging question actually. So let's get into it. First one, uh, we've got the distance is 400 miles and the time is five hours. So if I want to work out the speed of whatever this thing is, I start with my formula. Speed is equal to distance over time. Now I'm writing that as a fraction. I prefer it that way. But just remember that a fraction is just a fancy divide. So it might as well be distance divided by time. I substitute in here. My distance is 400 and my time is five. So I'm doing 400 divided by five. And there's a few different ways you could do this. You could do it as a step sum. I'm gonna do 40 divided by five, which is eight. And then I'm gonna remember that's 400. So my answer is 80. So that would be 80, oh, zero. Uh, and then my unit, and this is one of the most common mistakes in working out speed is to get the unit wrong. My unit, I take both parts of the question together is miles per hour. So miles per hour, MPH. Um, so all speed units are a combination of a distance and a time. And sometimes they're written with like a dash or sometimes they've written with a per. Uh, there we go. So that's our question. Uh, formula, substitution, and answer with a unit. Okay. On to the next kind of thing here. Now we've got a bit of a more difficult question because we've got kilometers and we've got minutes. Now we could just use the formula as is for um, distance divided by time and then we would get our answer in kilometers per minute, but that's a really weird speed. You don't often hear anything kilometers per minute. So I am faced with two options. Either I can change my time into hours which is one third of an hour, which is actually kind of a difficult time to deal with because that would be 0 0.33333333333333 recurring. Or I can think to myself common sense wise, if I want to work out the speed, if I'm doing 20 minutes, um, how far would I get in an hour? So every 20 minutes I am going another 30 kilometers. So you can probably think in your head, uh, first of all, 20 minutes will be 30 kilometers, 40 minutes will be 40 kilometers, and then by, my apologies, 40 minutes will be 60 kilometers, and then by the time I get to 60 minutes, I'll have done 90 kilometers. So that's gonna be my answer, 90 kilometers per hour. I'll write like that. So 90 kilometers per hour. But hold up, you might say, why could we not use the speed distance time thing? You can, if you wish. It just looks a little bit weirder. So I find this works out common sense in my head. If I was doing it this way, I essentially end up with speed is equal to distance divided by time. I could write it like that, which would be 30 divided by a third. Now, you may or may not have done division by fractions yet. If you have, you'll know that dividing by a third is the same as timesing by three. So that would give you 30 times three, which is 90 kilometers per hour. Two different ways of getting the same answer. One is just thinking to yourself, common sense wise, how far would I travel in one hour? And the other is using your formula and dividing by a fraction. Okay. If you've understood everything so far, you may be ready for some very challenging questions to do with uh, working out the speed. So in this, I've got a distance of 500 meters and I've got a time of 26 seconds, but I would like my answer in kilometers per hour. How would this ever come up in real life? Well, when you're looking at a speed camera, Unless they're an average speed camera, most speed cameras, you'll see like little lines on the road. They look like this. Um, and when you go past those lines, they only measure you for a short amount of time. Uh, they measure you for about 500 meters. 
and they'll look at the car when it goes past, they'll find the car when it finishes, and then it'll do a calculation to work out the speed and decide if the car was speeding or not. Right, for this though, we've got to do a little bit of conversion with the units. 500 meters, what would that be in kilometers? Okay, it's 0 0.5 kilometers. So my distance is now 0 0.5 kilometers. 26 seconds, what would that be in hours? Well, I would now use a calculator for this. So 26 seconds, to turn it into minutes, you might remember from last week, we're gonna divide by 60. And then to turn it into hours, I'm gonna divide by 60 again, because there's 60 minutes in an hour. That is gonna be 0 0.0072, precision engineering going on here. So finally, the calculation is speed is equal to distance over time. My distance is 0 0.5. My time is 0 0.0072. Get that into the calculator. 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.0072. And my answer, ooh, look at that. 69.4 kilometers per hour. If that was a car on a, on a motorway or on a dual carriageway, it's very close to the limit, but it is not speeding. And that is the calculation that uh, a speed camera would do. Okay, I'm aware that's a lot. The general gist is, if you can understand this, you're doing very well. Everything after this is a bonus. So I need from you the formula, speed is distance divided by time, then a substitution, and then an answer with a unit. The two most common mistakes that I would see in this are getting the division the wrong way round. Has to be div distance divided by time. Second most common mistake is forgetting the unit. So make sure you've got your units in there as well. Okay, you got this. Good luck. Have fun working out those speeds.